Hi there folks, Steve here from Magician.com, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible. And today we're going to be running through the tutorial of how to install Garden Craft. So from the Magician homepage, we're going to start by clicking on the Garden section, funnily enough. And that's going to take us to the front page, we'll see Garden Craft and click on that heading there. Which will take us to the Garden Craft front page, where we can see the creator's credits and all that sort of thing. We're just going to scroll down to have a look at Dependent On and Conflicts With. We'll see that it does conflict with Twilight Forest, so if you want to be using that mod, you can't be using this one. And it does depend on Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge, pretty standard there. So if you've installed those two, we'll go on to the next step, which is to click on the Download and Installation tab, where we can see our three favourite warnings in the world. First up, we have to make sure you are not running Minecraft when installing this mod, and secondly, this tutorial does assume that you've followed all the instructions in the Toolkit section of the Magician website. If you haven't done that yet, you want to head along to Magician.com, sign up for free and follow those instructions, but assuming you have already done that, we will move on. So the first step, of course, is to download the mod itself. This is where the second warning comes in, where you have to make sure the version of the mod you're downloading matches the version of Minecraft you're using. I have 1.2.5 at the moment, so I will click on that link there. That'll take us to the downloading page, which is really easy from Mediafire. We just click on this big green download button. Now, I've got mine set to ask me where I want to download these things. If you haven't on yours, it'll go straight to your downloads folder. But we actually want it to go to your desktop, and then mod downloads, 1.2.5 for the version of Minecraft we're using, and hit save. There you go, it's sucking down there. Beautiful. So we'll close this page, minimize this one, and we're going to look for your mod downloads folder on your desktop. Go to 1.2.5 for the version we're using and find Garden Craft version blah 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 dot zip. We're going to right click on that, go to 7zip and open archive. There we are, we'll just leave that one on the right there and then close down this window as we no longer need it. Then we're going to double click on the dot Minecraft shortcut, look for bin, it should be right up the top then find minecraft.jar. Then we're going to do exactly what we've done with the file we just downloaded. So we're going to right click, go 7-zip, open archive. There we are, we'll pull that one over to the left and close down that little one window. Alrighty, now what we can see is the file we downloaded on the right and minecraft.jar on the left. We can see a bunch of class files over here. We're going to click and drag all of them and then we're going to drag them over to the left window. When it asks if you're sure, just click Yes. Then we can see this Textures folder right up the top. We're going to double click on that and we can see a Garden Craft folder. And we're going to click and drag that over to the left hand window. And again, when it asks if you're sure, just click Yes. Now that gives you the basic mod, but there are a couple of optional extras. If you want HD textures, here we are. If you want the HD textures, you double click on the HD folder, which we can see there and drag the image files over into the minecraft.jar on the left. So we'll do that now. And again, if it asks if you're sure, just click yes. And then the last option, which is one I don't actually use, is in the mosaic options. If you want to use one of the mosaic tiles, you can double click on these files to see which ones you want to use. And if you do want to use one, you rename them to Mosaic Tile and then copy them over again. But I don't bother with that one. As I said, it doesn't give you much. And it tends to make my game a little bit unstable. So, we will move on to the last step, which is, of course, to load Minecraft itself. There we are. So we'll just log in here. Now, as usual, once you see this Mojang screen, you know you haven't done too much damage to your game, but it's still definitely worth loading a world to make sure everything's okay. So we'll jump into Magician. Wonderful, and I've made a little garden with some of the things in here for you to see. There's some uh, nice flowery trellises across the front of our Magician house. We've got a garden with some of the new flowers and parts. Uh, plants. We've got a couple of lamps there. Those lamps are pretty cool. I really like them, actually. And a nice little dining table set. And you can actually sit on these seats and all that sort of stuff. But it might be a nice place to have a cake, you know? So, there we are. That's uh, the entire thing. Oh, and there's these little uh, wooden glass boxes here. I'm not exactly sure what they're for. I think they're just a bit pretty. Which is pretty much what this entire mod is about. It's, it's a bit pretty. Wonderful. 
And that is it. Assuming that you followed all the instructions properly, you now have Garden Craft working for your copy of Minecraft. We hope you found this video useful. Feel free to come back to Magician.com for any other mods that you might want for your copy of Minecraft. And until then, good luck and good gaming. Oh, baby, baby, oh.